Welcome back. So before I actually install Ubuntu Studio onto my MacBook, I'm going to firstly theme Lubuntu. So let's get into it. And here I am in Lubuntu. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is go into my software center, which is in system tools. So the discover software center is what I wanna open. And then in the search field, search for quantum and that's quantum spelled with a V not a W. So quantum. And this is what I wanna install, the quantum manager. So I'll select that and then click install into my password and that's completed so I can close out of the discover software center and then jump into my web browser and let's now download a theme so I'm going to do a search for a specific theme that I actually really like and that's the sweet theme so in the search bar, I'll do a search for Sweet Quantum Theme. And this is the website I want to go to, the store.kde.org website. Cool, and here is the Sweet KDE quantum theme so you just have to make sure that it is the quantum theme that you're downloading because there are other variations of the sweet theme and I'll scroll down the page and go to the files tab and I want to download this sweet.tar.xz theme so I'll just click that and then download that into my downloads folder click save and that has completed so I'll now go to that folder and I'll just minimize my web browser for a second. And so I want to actually extract this sweet folder. So I'll right click that and I'll open it with the Arc compression tool. And I actually downloaded and installed Arc because I do like using that as my extraction tool. And there we go. So I'll just click extract. And then I'll download it into the same folder. I won't name it because it'll name itself. I'll just click extract. And that is done. So I can close out of the Arc application. And here is my sweet folder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click it and copy it. And then what I'll do is I'll go back to the root of my file system and then go to user, share, and scroll down here till I find themes or I can start typing it in there we go and so I want to paste the folder in here so if I just click on the icon view then if I just paste it into a gap it won't paste into a folder but as you can see here paste is not active so I actually have to unlock this folder so I'm going to briefly do that now so I'll open up my terminal and then run the command sudo chown or change owner and then type in my username, which is stempunk. And then colon, and then I wanna put in my group name, which will be the same as my username. And then after a space, type in the pathway to this themes directory. So forward slash user, forward slash share, forward slash themes, and then hit return enter my password and that is now unlocked so now I can refresh this page here and then right click and I can paste so if I scroll down here you'll find here it is the sweet theme folder so what I'll do now before I move on is I'll actually lock the themes directory back to the root of my system so to do that run the same command so if I just hit the up arrow and then use the left arrow to go back and change the username and group name from stempunk stempunk or whatever username you're using to root colon root there we go so if I hit return now that's now changed the ownership of the folder back to the system so now if I refresh here 
I can again no longer paste or create folders or anything like that. So that's just to keep everything secure. Cool, so now what I'll do is I'll close out of themes and I'll exit out of my terminal window. And then go back to my web browser. And in this store.kde.org web page, I'll just scroll up the page. And then on the left, I'll click on the full icon themes. Cool, and I actually have a specific icon set that I quite like on the system. So I'll click on the rating tab. And then I'll just scroll down this page till I find the Suru Plus icons. Here it is, Suru Plus 30 Barcelona. So I'll click that. And this is a really comprehensive icon set. I should definitely give a shout out to Gus Reese, 1989. Awesome work you've done here. So then I'll scroll down this page here to the files tab and I'll click that. And then I'll click on this Suru Plus, which is actually a link which will open a web page. So I'll click that and then follow link. And here I am at Gus McCarb's Suru Plus GitHub page. So I'll scroll down this page here. And then in the wiki section, I'm going to click on the language English because that's what I'm using. Click that. And then on the right, I'll click on the English instructions again. And I'm going to install the new daily update with CLI because I want to have the latest icons always available to my system. So I'll click that. And then scroll down this page here. And so I could use the root directory, which is the recommended way, but I'm actually going to install to my home directory for GTK. So I'll copy this command line instruction and then open up my terminal. So control alt T and then control shift V to paste and then enter. And I'll speed up this bit of the video and then rejoin you as soon as it's completed. And that has completed, so I'll exit out of terminal and I'll minimize my web browser. And then in my apps menu, I'll go up to accessories and then launch the Quantum Manager. So now it's asking me to select a Quantum Theme folder and that is the theme folder that I put into my themes directory. So I'll click that and then navigate to my themes directory. So that's in user, share, and then themes, there it is there. And I'll scroll down here to select the suite theme and then click open and then install this theme. So that's now installed. So I'll now click on the change and delete theme tab. And then from the select a theme, I'll use this drop down menu and scroll all the way to the bottom. And here is the suite theme. So I'll select that and then click use this theme. And there we go. This is the suite theme now showing. So what I'll do next is I'll go to configure active theme. And to save just a little smidge of system resources, I'm actually going to deselect all of the transparent options. And that's all of them here. And then in the compositing and general look, I'll deselect translucent windows. Cool, that's all of them. So I'll scroll down here and click save. And that should now have saved. So if I just go back to hacks. Yep, that should have saved. So now I'll quit out of the Quantum Manager. And next I'll go back to my Apps menu and go up to Preferences, LXQT Settings, and then I'll open the LXQT Configuration Center. And then open Appearance. And I'll minimize the Configuration Center. And in the widget style, I'm going to change the QT style from Breeze to Quantum Dark. And I'll also select the default palette and then click Apply. Beautiful. And then in the icons theme, 
I'll scroll up here till I find the Suru plus plus 25 and I'll actually click on the top one and click apply and that's thrown everything skew down in my panel but that should be fixed once I do a reboot cool and then I'll go to the LXQT theme and I'll change that from Lubuntu Arc and I'll scroll down here and select system click apply cool I won't worry about font I'll just go straight to the cursor and then I want to select the breeze light because it's a dark theme I want to have a light cursor so I'll click apply and that's changed and then close cool so what I'm going to do now before I continue is actually reboot my system so I'll see you on the other side of the reboot cool I'm back from the reboot so what I'll do is I'll jump into my apps menu and then go up to preferences LXQT settings and then reopen the LXQT configuration center and then open window effects and so what I want to do is go to this opacity tab and I want to change all of these to one so I'll just use the plus sign and that's all done so I'll leave these two as is click apply and then close or cancel and that's all I'll do in the configuration center I'll close that now and now what I want to do is actually edit this icon here because as you can see it's a little bit hard to see so I'll just right click that and then select configure application menu and then I'll enable icon and then navigate by clicking on this folder to this helix white shadow so I'll select that and click open and there we go that's a little bit easier to see so I can now close out of the menu settings and then what I'll do next is I'll go to this battery icon and I'm going to change that as well so I'll right click that and then select configure so I'll change it from circle and I'll just use this drop down menu and I'll select from theme so that will actually change it to a battery so that's cool close and that just keeps everything a little bit more consistent and so the very last thing I'll do is actually change the desktop so to do that right click select desktop preferences and then go to background and so I'm going to change this from the default jellyfish wallpaper which is pretty cool but I actually want to personalize it even more so I'll browse to my image of choice and I downloaded this from Deviant Art. so I'll scroll down here actually I'll expand that window so I can see a bit more and then navigate to my background and here it is here heart of the forest by Shahabaliza awesome work I have to say so I'll click open and then apply and there we go so it's actually got the autograph on the image but if I change this to center on the screen because it's a lot bigger than my MacBook's screen and click apply and then OK there we go so now I have themed my Lubuntu system and it's ready for the next phase which is to actually install Lubuntu Studio onto. 